Over the last few weeks on our program, we've been telling you about how the budget cuts to the LSU Ag Center will impact its ability to provide research and extension to the state's farmers and ranchers. This week, we begin a series of reports about the ongoing research projects at the Ag Center and how they affect farmers and you. This week, we take you inside LSU's Plant Pathology Lab on the Baton Rouge campus, where for the last 30 years, researchers there have been on the front lines tackling plant diseases that, if left unchecked, could decimate the state's farming industry. So here we have a, a culture of Cercospora, the uh, fungus that causes Cercospora leaf blight, growing on an auger medium that's been supplemented with iron. For Dr. Ray Schneider, it's the little things, microscopic in fact, that can make a huge difference. That's a sample of Cercospora under his microscope. It's a disease that could, if left unchecked, wreak havoc on the state's soybean crop. It's the next big disease behind soybean rust, a disease Schneider knows all about. He was the first researcher to discover its presence here in Louisiana in 2004. For Louisiana agriculture, research is where the rubber meets the road, so to speak. Looming budget cuts of more than $16 million to the LSU Ag Center could send 211 employees out the door. Employees like researchers who farmers depend on to keep them economically competitive and consumers who depend on cheap food provided by those same farmers. That's a lot of what we're trying to do. You know, we're trying to look at how do we, how do we bring in good control measures that have uh, great environmental stewardship, uh, that are sustainable, and uh, going to help the producer. Over the last 30 years, the LSU Ag Center has led the nation in research programs involving rice and sugarcane. As the country's largest sugarcane producing state, research into new cane varieties like clean tech cane and others has made LSU and the Louisiana sugar industry a world leader in such technology. But it's a very traditional crop in Louisiana. It's been grown over 200 years. The industry has been successful despite a lot of real challenges. and. The growers recognize that research has been the key to that. For many Louisiana farmers, research has been one of the few certainties they could count on. With the inability to control the weather, skyrocketing input costs, and unfair foreign trade practices, what happens in LSU Ag Center laboratories oftentimes means the difference between making a go of it out here on the farm or going broke. We never know where the new threat is going to come from, and um, which is why we as plant pathologists have to be prepared uh, um, in terms of our technology and in terms of our science to deal with these new issues. And those looming budget cuts won't just affect the scientists who work on campus today, they'll also affect the future crop of researchers. Student workers like Lauren Van Zandt, who's helping to scan sugarcane samples, would be out of a job, a job she needs to help pay her tuition. Dr. Datinoff says when grad students can't perform such lab work, it deprives the state's farmers and consumers of the next generation of researchers. We're training people for today and tomorrow that are going to make a big, big impact on agriculture, whether it's, you know, uh, the foot in the furrow, the foot in the lab, or the foot in the administration, or the combination of all three uh, to make it go. And, that, and that's what it takes. Dr. Datinoff said any break in the research chain due to budget cuts could set back his team's effort years. He said the Ag Center has been able to attract some of the best researchers from across the country over the last few years. However, he said budget cuts could make future recruiting efforts more and more difficult. 